Welcome back to Manchester and look at that sky. Okay, so what's going on then? We're going to try and drive around and uh, chase ambulances, chase police, chase crackies, chase crime, chase photons, chase drama. Okay. Well, I found uh, driving around, especially near the city centre, is uh, no good. No good. It's anti-car. So we're, we're back on the, the feet. There you go. Okay, welcome to the Northern Quarter. When they built this one, they were like, yeah, just put a bit of plastic, yellow, black. It'll remind people of wasps. It'll look great. And then 10 years later, oh, oh and then there's a crackhead sleeping in the doorway as well. That there is the Holiday Inn Express. Okay, van ruining my fish market. Oh, here we go. Thanks. Free plug there. The fish market wall leads to a bunch of workmen putting a plastic canopy over the main drag, the main drag being Thomas Street in the northern quarter, so that drinkers, revelers, partygoers, degenerates, conservatives, liberals, men, women, not so much children, they shouldn't be drinking alcohol, but all of the above can come and drink their hipster cider with ice without getting wet. Nobody likes to get wet. Uh-oh. There's going to be more graffiti. Load of earth, bricks, brown sight stuff, white helmets. Here we go. It begins. It's quite big, I'll show you. It's quite a good size. It goes all the way, well, it goes for about 100 meters. And once you're beyond that, just get wet. You don't deserve to be dry. All right, big lorry with trailer. He's gonna get round somehow. Wait a minute. Looks serious. Uh oh. Oh, he's got a generator on him. Oh, look at that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Can we squeeze in a not allowed? Or not allowed! Here we go. Come on. Where's he from? What country? IRL. Ireland. Top of the morning to you. Oh, he's a professional. He'll, he'll figure this out. He'll figure it out. Oh, there's a lamppost on the other. Oh, oh, that's close. Look at that. What a legend. I bet he's forklift certified as well. Oh, he's right. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's got that one. Yep, yeah, he's got that one. Wait. He's got it. He's, he's done. Oh, look at that. But wait, there's more. I thought he was free. There's, there's more. There's more. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, wait. We didn't like the camera. Oh, oh! Look at that, that's close. What a legend. Be it thick or be it thin. The Irish driver will get it in. What a legend. Wait a minute, I thought he wanted out. He's actually... He's, uh, he's, he's reversing in. What a legend. Good work. It's getting tighter by the second here. I'm still not fully sure what he's trying to achieve, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna run because I think I'm better. <laughs> oh, 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 here he comes. Okay, it's one of the side streets looking at the plastic canopy. This is more uh, further down, Thomas Street. It's still super busy, as you can see. A lot of construction. All the blue bibs you see are private security hired as well. Um, you okay, man? I'm, I'm great. How are you? I'm just doing a video here. Uh, you're Sorry? You're not allowed. Not allowed? No. What do you mean, not allowed? I'm in public. 
this one, like for the cigarette provisions. The man's right. I am an asshole. No, I didn't. I didn't get you nicked. If you did, you probably deserved it. Anyway, don't worry about me. I'm not a terrorist. It's fine. It's all good. So is that allowed now? Okay now? Okay? No? You shy now? No? You don't think it's allowed? But this is England. What law would there be against a, a British man taking a few shots of a public scene? No laws about that. Oh good, thank you. All the best to you. Overzealous. Um, security guard. He didn't really speak English, but uh, it's nice to be uh, made secure by people who are not English speakers, I guess. Fair enough. Right, where are we now? Oh, they're installing the lights. Look, lighty time. A temporary work site, only until December the 15th. No ho 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 with uh, this uh, construction in the way. And what about the poor businesses? People want to go and do their lunch and, uh, well, I don't know, um, Fierce Beer, Cane and Grain, Thomas Street Tavern, not allowed. Here's a nice angle, plenty of colors, lots of activity, here you go. Oh no, you're in the frame, but it's okay, it's okay. No, you look good actually, it's all right. <laughs> Alright, it's uh, oh, they're, they're, it's sandwich time. It's definitely sandwich time here in the northern quarter. Okay, viewers, forgive my ignorance. I think we're now in advent calendar time. So the streets are going to be permanently busy up until New Year, pretty much. Uh, foot space has been reduced by all the market stalls in uh, Manchester here. And uh, we're going to do the tour, the traditional tour by foot to see what we can find. Hello, Corn Exchange, looking shiny. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, Cracky. Okay, Cracky. Here comes the world famous music man. He has refused every interview request and he carries on with his music. Go, music man. There is some football in Manchester today. I don't know who's playing because I'm not into football except the World Cup. Then it's exciting. But this is the old Wellington pub that always fills up with the away football fans. How are you doing? You're not a tram. One more armed car, they're always the big 4x4s. This one is a Volkswagen, Wagen Volks, Volken, Volken Wagen. Oh God, he wants to come where I am. All right, on you go then, there you go. Look at that, straight onto the pavement. Wish I could drive on the pavement. Looks like a great place to drive, there's no rules. Why did you think something was the matter? I'm, I'm just a photographer, man. Your colleagues are usually very friendly with me. So I smiled and waved at you. I didn't appreciate the frown and the, the kind of demand of what's the matter. Nothing's the matter. We're in Great Britain. We're having a great time. Nah, you were rude. I wish I'd caught it on camera. You were, nah, you were rude, man. You were rude. That's it. Dismiss me. Dismiss me. Go on. Thank you. Thank you. Always. You look very... The smile was nice. Can't say much for the colleague, though. My darling viewers, I wish I'd caught it off camera. On camera, shall I say. I waved and smiled, which I usually do as a courtesy before I film people. And he frowned and goes, what's the matter? As in, like, not happy with your filming. Ah, prima donna. Sensitive. Princess Copper. Princess Copper with the AR-15. <laughs> so 
center screen, you've got a Manchester City Council guy checking the sellers paperwork of the flag sellers. And so Manchester City are playing against a red and white branded team. I can't tell. Manchester City are playing Leipzig. Leipzig? If I remember from my school Germany, that is in East Germany. The Socialist Republic of East Germany, now unified with West Germany. Okay, tailing a police officer moving with intent. He's uh, walking fast, but so far so nothing. Here I stand, broken-hearted, paid my penny, and only farted. Where's he going? Greater Manchester Fire and Rescue. I just want to show you guys the shipping container building they have created, like a Lego castle to practice the rescues. You can see a few cars that have been chopped up uh, to simulate rescuing people out of a car accident. Some say that uh, the Charlie Veach Channel is the fourth emergency service rather than the AA. And uh, as we go back to move our car from outside the hotel, Let's uh, make sure this isn't a bomb, you know. It's got a, you know, doing my public service. Okay, it's not a bomb. All right, a uh, hearse comes into the shot just before I press play or record. The turquoise sign says, welcome to Oldham. And why are we in Oldham? There's been a tram crash and someone's been badly hurt. So we're gonna go and have a look. Oldham Leisure Center, Mecca Bingo, council buildings, government. And uh, do you see the flashy flashy? Like magpies, let's go towards the flashy flashy. Road is closed, all of uh, Oldham town centre. Now you're like saying, what is Oldham? Oldham is a satellite town to Greater, sorry, to Manchester. It's in Greater Manchester. See in the film, The Matrix, Morpheus and Neo are trying to get back to Zion. And here you've got Mecha Bingo. Okay. It's a quick, quick detour. Look over here. No, I think it's just parked police vans. I don't think it's a police station. Oh my, God himself is trying to have a peek at the crashed tram. Yeah, if I were a if I were a betting man, I'd say this is a tram in question. Yeah, good old Oldham. Let's get some shots. Get some better angles as well. Sorry, sir, you're not allowed to board the tram over here. No, a friend of mine lives in Oldham, he say, he told me he's quite badly injured. Right. Um, he may even be deceased, but they don't announce it all at once. No, no. Because they need to obviously speak to the family first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, there all you right. go. Take care. All right, you too. Thank you. Oh, can you get up there? Uh, no, unfortunately. So to shut down one spoke of uh, Britain's largest tram network, one injury. This happened at 11 a.m. It's about 2.30 p.m. now. And uh, as we enter school rush hour and uh, business rush hour, it's going to be exciting. So I think I'll leave before then. Dear viewers, this is the horror of uh, Oldham Central. We're here. Obviously, we're not going to get hit by a tram. There's no trams. Well, you've seen this before on my channel, but it's worth being horrified by it again. This is what greets people as they arrive in Oldham. And wait, there's more. There's a job center plus, so you can get your bennies. And there's an abandoned 1960s office block monstrosity known as Phoenix House. There will be no rising from the flames in Oldham. It's a terminal decline now, guys. Welcome to dystopia. Maybe, maybe like um, 25 years ago, the riots might begin in Oldham. Look it up. Riots 25 years ago in Oldham, what were they about? Look it up. I just walked through a massive argument in what I assume is Urdu. There's a lot of um, 
Asian shops and I might say sorry please go ahead it's only a video it's okay I might say um, Oldham is as rough as Accrington it's it's awful and uh, the George Tavern has got a bit of rainbow action going on don't know if he's open or if he's shut but it's strange going from Urdu British Pakistani area to gay bar not used to that cultural shift Oh, so it was a police station. Maybe the ugliest one I've ever seen. In Latin, it says, Sapere Ode. Okay, Mr. Know-it-all. Is that what it means in Latin? Know-it-all. <laughs> so uh, this is Oldham Divisional Headquarters. And we're going to go to Oldham Council. I've heard a few things about corruption. Oldham Council and corruption. Can you believe it? In the modern 21st century, corruption. That's why I hear. Respect where respect is due. Alison Armitage... She was 29 years old, killed in the line of duty in March 2001. She was trying to stop some crackheads stealing a vehicle. She witnessed a car theft in progress and the scum run her over. So RIP, Alison, and uh, condolences to you and your family. Walking around, I just get the feeling that Oldham is a horrible place. Bad energy, aggressive people, nasty aesthetics, and the trams run people over over here, so there's that. You've got the Satanicus Trinitus of Bright House, Shoe Zone, and Betfred. I do hope they're cobbling the street, or not uncobbling, they better be pro-cobbling. Okay, I'm at the world famous, allegedly corrupt, Oldham City Council. Unfortunately, there's no housing options today, guys. Okay, so in terms of corruption here, uh, welcome to Oldham, where white people should be worried and Asians worried more by Raja Mia. At the time Jim McMahon was first elected the Labour Councillor in 2003, his Labour Party run Oldham Council was inspected by the Audit Commission, describing Oldham Council as ungovernable, a government code word widely believed to mean corrupt. The Audit Commission ranked Oldham Council as the second worst council in the entire country, the second worst council in all of the UK. If only, oh come on, I'm trying to do a video here. Jesus Christ, come on, man. So anyway, it's, it's very corrupt. I'd carry on, but um, thanks, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. So not only is it corrupt, which usually means financially corrupt, uh, there was also a big expose a few years back where they were actively covering up and whitewashing the uh, big scandal of uh, grooming gangs. Um, if you're not familiar, there was a big scandal many years ago in the UK, I'm sure it still carries on, of um, British Pakistani grooming gangs um, targeting young girls. And that bad boy there is the NHS Oldham Integrated Care Centre. There's another entrance here, I think this might be the entrance to proper Oldham Council, I think. Well, there you go. <laughs> this is where he comes in. All the confirmation I needed that they're cobbling back. They're re-cobbling the street. Good on them. How does it feel to be the only guy, or shall I say the only normal guy? It's like a kind of psychological Truman show. The only normal guy in Oldham. Main drag. There's like a shopping mall called Spinning Fields or Spinning Loom or something. This blue bibbed Securitas. Wait, we're gonna we're gonna catch a guy in the act. He's trying to break the glass. Look, I saw him hammering it. Wait. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just uh, doing a video. They might not want to be on the video. Though. Oh no, I'm not gonna come near you guys. It's oh, him, no, but the soul the soul doesn't leave you guys and enter my camera. It doesn't matter if I'm stood here with a camera. You guys. Oh no, I know, I was doing a comedy thing, I know, I saw his hammer, can we all take a joke? Yeah. No, no, I've got to say, you should have come back, come this morning, it would be wrong, bro. I don't know, he looks a bit dodgy, he might, wait, 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 oh, he's spraying chemicals on it now, okay. careful. <laughs> so, Virgin Money is the bank at the bottom of this building, any bank at the bottom of this building, I, I don't even know what to say, I, uh... I think I need to go to an Orthodox church and be around real beauty, just for 10 minutes, just after looking at that. Just let the guy go past. What a fucking shithole.
There is a Donna in the window, scowling at me. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you're going to go park a van. Okay, that's, that's allowed. That is allowed. You're fine. Go on. On you go. There are now one Donna and two Connors in the window. Turns out they were really nice. Um, I put the camera down. They all started waving and smiling at me, taking photographs. So I smiled and waved and... They got excited and happy, so I got excited and happy, and then I ran upstairs, gave them all hugs, we all kissed, we all married each other, had babe, it was beautiful. So, Oldham Council, just off the main road, uh, the not allowed certificates. I wonder who you have to speak to in the corrupt Oldham Council to get your parking ticket cancelled. I think this here used to be the main entrance, the main one, but now it's on the main road, so... Not so main, and the never-ending tickets continues. Here's another one.